all the evidence been put out, the world see what happened, and the world see why Omar died, because his skin color. And all I can say, we just want justice, 100% justice. The family of Ahmad Arbery still fighting for justice as they sit through the federal hate crimes trial for the three men convicted of murdering Arbery. This week marks two years since he was shot and killed while jogging through a South Georgia neighborhood. And right now the jury is deliberating whether the men violated his civil rights by allegedly targeting Arbery because he was black. We have team coverage for you tonight outside the federal courthouse in Brunswick. Our Don White spoke with Arbery's aunt just a couple of hours ago, but let's begin with hope for who was inside the courthouse for closing arguments today. Yeah, that's right. And the jury began deliberating at 3 p.m. And they've been listening intently to all this as they consider the charges against Travis and Greg McMichael, as well as William Roddy Bryan. Now, the government is trying to prove the defendants only saw Aubrey as a black man and because of that considered him to be a threat and a criminal. They called it a fatal dose of racial resentment. Let's take you through some of their closing arguments. So the government says Bryan instantly assumed in seeing a black man being chased by two white guys that the white guys must have been the good guys. They said Travis McMichael had a revenge fantasy against black people. Greg McMichael, the government says, only knew two things about Arbery that day, that he was black and running. Now, the government depended a lot on digital evidence, text messages, and social media posts that showed racial resentment to show what was in the defendant's minds when it came to black people. And those messages included uh, calling black people the N-word, monkeys, criminals, and subhuman savages. Now, Travis's attorney defended his client by saying these are private messages between like-minded people and not a case where his beliefs should be punished. Greg's attorney says he was simply trying to stop a man he had seen go into a home under construction four times prior. And now Brian's attorney, he did point to Brian calling his daughter's boyfriend the N-word, but says that's not evidence of someone who is out to get black people. The defendants remain stoic, looking straight ahead the entire time. Marcus Arbery, Ahmad's father, uh, nodded in agreement with the government's arguments while Arbor, Ahmaud Arbery's mother cried twice as the defense alluded to Arbery's death being a result of his own actions. I'm just thankful that the day has finally come. I'm hopeful that we'll probably have a verdict by tomorrow, um, a guilty verdict on all counts. Now, the jury, they will deliberate until around dinner time. The judge didn't say if that meant five, six, or seven. If they don't reach a verdict tonight, they will come back in the morning to continue those deliberations. And once they have reached that verdict, the judge said uh, she will hold it for about 45 minutes to allow everyone to get into place.